Hey everyone, this is Juguete Sen Caliente with Raul and Alan, and today we got DX16, Darth Maul from Hot Toys. Let's go. Here we got it, finally, after five years, three years since it's been released, Darth Maul DX16. And this guy doesn't come with a speeder bike, so it's just a figure himself. But we are very excited to be unboxing it. We have the original Hot Toys box with the uh, double colored of black and a great picture of Darth Maul. And this is just a slip cover. As we remove this real quick, we are provided an extra large box with even more. Say, I think it's pretty big. Oh, uh, they're here now. Huge. Expecting. Beautiful. Oh. Dude. Beautiful leopard print tattoo style face of the figure himself, Darth Maul. I feel and like it looks pretty beautiful. close to here. This is a shirt, but uh, look at that shirt. Almost, yeah, very close. It's almost there. Looking at the sides, Star Wars, nothing crazy. Who done it? A couple warning signs. Great stuff. First DX figure, so not really sure what that oh. stands for. Let me know in the comments what the DX stands for and what's the difference. Because I heard it was a rolling eyeball system, but a lot of the regular ones are just one of my figures is not a DX and it has rolling eyeballs. So yeah, I don't know what makes it necessarily a DX. Not really sure, but it's a magnetic on the left hand side of the box and it kind of slips right out and you get a little, I don't know what that is. It's like a metal bookmark. I have no idea what it is. I don't really a token. No, but, but it's, token or something? it's like 3D printed with a little bit of engraved. Really cool. Big box, as you can see. I'll flip it around so we can read the part that has some text. Right here. Oh, nice. Comes up. Let's see. A deadly agile Sith Lord trained by the evil Darth Sidious. Darth Maul was a formidable warrior and scheming mastermind. He wielded an intimidating double-bladed lightsaber and fought with a menacing ferocity. Cool nice. stuff. Huge box problems, but you know what they say: big box, big reveals. Wait, that token is that? Does that token not come out? Oh my god, dude! Yeah. So the token right here, it does come out. Sorry, if oh, it does blinding you, dude. Double head sculpts here. Interchangeable head sculpts features authentic likeness of Darth Maul. Separate rolling eyeballs. Detailed paint applications. Same thing. Take this little plastic thing off, or cardboard. Nice. You get the foamy kind. Really beautiful, just yeah, amazing. Yeah, actually taking care of it. Yeah, and this is a used figure. I got it from eBay, and thank you for whoever took care of it. You got a bunch of accessories coming around, and as soon as you remove the foamy part, here we go. Look at that. Man. Wow. Crazy. Maybe that's what the DX packaging is. It, it, it works. The packaging. That makes it DX, right? I mean, yeah, sure. It does come with a ton of stuff. Oh, it's it's packed. Yeah. And then you have all this stuff inside. We're gonna unbox it, display of the accessories, and go from there. Here we go, guys. Everything's set up right here on the table. I don't even know where to start. It's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. Too many things. But we're gonna go yeah. as fast as possible here. We're gonna start with the vase, which is great. You got a nice gloss there, metallic, textured. It looks like that scene where he takes care of Qui-Gon. Yeah. You have your metal plate, Darth Maul. Very large, definitely a little too large. If you have D-tops like me, this is the reason why I don't use stands, but this is a piece of its own. Really yeah, cool. it's really nice. It's the nicest really piece nice. I've seen so far. Yeah, it's legit. Let me put this here on the side real quick. Let's take a look at the robe. Sith robe right here, little clasps. You can see okay. there. Yeah. Uh, the texture is okay. It's not the best. I've seen Jedi robes that are a little better than this. The material is not heavy, not wired. So it's going to be pretty difficult making it look the way you want to, but it's a nice piece. I probably won't use it, but nice hat. Here we have the Seeker droid, like the movie on the Phantom Menace and tattooing. Really cool. You can see a little nice. bit of the scratches here. 
making it look very metallic, light purple kind of lens. You got two cameras, you got an antenna here, and this little part also goes into here. Let me tell you, there's a specific way. There you go, something like that. But you get the idea. That's awesome. Very cool. And this you can put in the vase, like so. And it goes here. It's just floating. Okay. It just floats. Again, something I probably won't use, but okay. <laughs> thank you, Hot Toys. Looking at the blades, we get double sided action blades here. You can see they're kind of dark. I kind of like that. Some of them tend to look pink. These are very red. I like that a lot. Mine are a little towards the pink side on my Darth Maul. Uh, yeah. I would say, I mean, I, looking at yours at least. So that's nice. I know, right? These look a little bit more pink. Okay. But again, you get two. This are his binoculars that he uses in Tatooine. As you can see, there's nice little weathering there. Those are cool, man. They, they look hefty. Dude, they're tight. Got nice little weathering, like a sand tone to it. Very cool. So this rubbery cool. part. Yeah, the groups. They're not metallic, but they'll fool you. Yeah, it looks like it's real metal, like a real yeah. metal piece. Really nice piece. Obviously, only used in one scene and the Phantom Menace when he's looking for... I don't remember. Is it, he's using Quarkin? He's, no, he's, he's on a speeder, right? He kind of gets off. Yeah, and it yeah. looks super cool. Yeah. The main piece right here, right? Double lights like that. Double-sided lightsaber, which was so iconic in 1999. First thing that stands out. Obviously, you can insert the blades there. Nice little red buttons. And it falls apart, so you can... Oh, this one does? Yes. Dang, this that's way. nice. This way, you can imitate or duplicate or replicate the scene the where ov one cuts it in half and the attachment there has a nice little weathering to it. It does look like someone kind of cut through. Yeah. Really cool. But again, I think this is one of the coolest parts of the figure, right? Because when do you get to see a double sided lightsaber? You get two action arms with the batteries going These are the light up, the light up ones? These are the light up, yeah. So this one's a full. Obviously, you can't take them apart. And if you want to just do the other scene, you get the half. Gotcha. Two of the gauntlets here. Nice attention to detail again from Hot Toys. This is just from the scene in Tatooine where he's using binoculars and setting the seeker droids. And he uses this like beep boop, beep boop, something okay. to put the seekers onto the guy. Another gauntlet. And then you get four additional, I guess, pair fists because they're all very similar. You get your gesturing. Kind of like a force push or something menacing. These are the hands for the binoculars, left and right. Okay. You get your this for the lightsaber. Lightsaber gripping. You get two of these. Once already on the figure, you get a, a choke, choke hold kind of hand. Pretty tight. I like that. Yeah. And then you just get your relaxed. Oops. It's a relaxed, relaxed hand. hand. Okay. But that's cool because you get pairs for all of them, right? You don't usually get to see that a lot. And of course, dynamic sand. And this, I just wanted to show it to you guys from an angle. Nice. It's, what do you call it? A memorabilia? Like a token plaque. or a okay. plaque. It says Hot Toys right there. Oh, nice. You flip it. Oh, nice. Oh, That's oh. DX16 scale collectible figure. Really cool. There you go. I feel like you get a little a little plastic uh, base for that, and it could fit in. Like if you wanted to, but I'm not saying you specifically, but someone yeah. could put it in there and you kind of display it up. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. I mean, you would have to buy a little part so you can insert it. Yeah, into, but yeah. yeah, you can do it. That's basically it, guys. Let's take a look at the most important part: the figure and the second head sculpt. All right, here we have him, guys, on hand. And I gotta say, this is such a neat piece. It just doesn't come out of the rolling eyeball is going to be an issue because you have to kind of get in there and make intricate changes, but yeah. like, put it on your face. I heard the technique. The technique is closing one eye and kind of getting it close to your No, it really is. Like you close one eye. one eye of the toy. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
No, you close your own eye, like one eye, and then you look at it, and then it's easier to kind of pinpoint them both in one direction, if that makes sense. Okay. I'm going to have to use that. But <laughs> the technique, the lightness to Darth Maul from Phantom Menace is 10 out of 10. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. It's great. Can't deny it. And then the I want to see it, it side by side with my head sculpt too on my Clone Wars. Uh, they're dark. definitely different. Yeah. The cool thing about this, it comes in a magnetic neck pulley system. Right. So you just take it out. Yep. And look at this one. Oh man, that was even better. I think this one is sick, man. The teeth. Look how dirty they are. Yeah, that one's full action pose too, though. You gotta like, you yeah, gotta be dynamic. In full rage. Yeah, it's full on dynamic. But the beauty of it as well is just you can put them anywhere you like. You know, like it has no limitations because of the magnetic. You put it yeah. looking. I don't know why Hot Toys doesn't do this more, to be honest. The X Baby? Nah, I don't know. No, well, mine, mine is uh, met uh, not metallic, but magnetic as well. Um, and it's not a DX figure, so I don't know why they don't do it more. I want to show the. I don't know. I think they should though. It's a great, great topic. I want to see it right here a little closer. Yeah, the teeth, dude, that's crazy. The horns are very, very neatly done. The paint, it's so good. Dude. You How's see the, the detail of the, the tongue? Tattoos. The tongue, the tongue is good, man. It's nice and pinky. You can't, it's not too transparent or fake looking. Okay. It looks good. But overall, 10 out of 10, man. Yeah. You, you even got the little, the little earring, the Michael, Michael Jordan earring. <laughs> and then you have the eye system right there. Yep. You've probably seen before. Going into the costume itself, nice robes. The texture is nice. Perfect feeling leather like belt. You got the hook for the lightsaber. Uh, metallic points, but they're more shiny plastic. It's on a Velcro tying, which I don't think we're going to have an issue with. These are fully wired. I'm trying to see if you, so you can some... pose them up. There you go. So you can pose them up however you want. The boots are, they are split cut, but there's really, it doesn't look like they are from here, but you can't tell because this part shin guard is connected and it limits its range. So it's kind I of defeats the purpose of it. You can only go up and down about 20 degrees. But if you ratcheted. can hear, ratcheted, yeah, ratcheted, ratcheted, um, what do you call it? On the knee Double joints? Jointed. Knee, it goes all the way up. Yeah. Ratchet is nice. You get a full 90, maybe-ish. Yeah. You get a full up, full back. And I think, yeah, that's pretty much it. Not a ratchet. It doesn't here, drop, though. right? It's not like a right. drop in. Yeah. It is double okay. jointed there. Nice. Perfect. Beautiful. Nice little crunch. A good waist. And you could pull this back a little bit, but it does go substantially forward. You kick someone in the face right there. But as expected, right? Like Darth Maul, you have to put him in some crazy poses. But speaking of which, let's do that. I know that's what we're here for. I want to see him post up. I'm excited. Let's do, Let's do it. Let's see it. All right, guys. Here you have him. Little dynamic pose, dynamic stand, waist grabber. Here we have him jumping midair, wielding his lightsaber, doing a little turn here just so you guys can see. That looks awesome. That is insane. I mean, I wish I could display him like this, but he does not fit in a detolf with yeah. the lightsabers and jumping, and it's just going to be too much. But... He just looks great and menacing with that head sculpt, man. Really great. That's such okay. a good pose. It's so good. Just him having like, he's just jumping at you with that mat. Like, look, that head sculpt just insane. Even if he looked a little lower, you know, like he just looks menacing, man. And you could do it. There is a way uh, for you guys out there that do, are thinking of getting a detox and you're worried about what Alan just said, which is that they're a little. Um, if you have a figure that's either too big or you can buy little clamps from Home Depot that would go around the poles and then you can actually put the glass shelf on those clamps instead of the other ones and basically widen up your your space. The only bad part is that the space either below it or above it are going to suffer. So yeah, just think about you that. You can do it. You can definitely do it. And 
why we love DTOPs, but I got to put more figures in and make the, the more room out of my space or make more usage out of my space that I have. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's switch them up in another pose. Not so dynamic, but so far I really enjoy yeah, it. I think that. And it's flexibility. Let's go. Here you go, guys. Just a, a quick other pose just to put him standing up so you can see something different. Change the head sculpt there. So something more menacing, a little bit more threatening, not so action pose, but I am going to switch it just so you can take a look at how poseable and, and how quick it changes with just the other head sculpt. And so easy, right? I think this already looks fantastic, but I'm I think assuming it's going to yeah. look crazy. I love weird. this head sculpt. I mean, it's just, it's more of my style head sculpt. I don't yeah. like the whole action, but if you just switch it up real quick, <laughs> that it's, it's a whole different mood. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I might have to take that head sculpt from you to put it in my, uh, it's, that's more, but I'm escaping from a, a sarcophagus or what is this thing right here? The, the yeah, dark yeah. wall. That's a sick, Ripping. sick, sick pose. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put him in more of a one last pose, something more, uh, I guess from the movie where he's showing off his lightsaber for the first scene when he encountered yeah. Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon. I love that scene. So we'll, we'll try that out. Uh, here we go. Really quickly before we go to, uh, I wanted to say that the, the one thing I don't like, and this is just about the dynamic um, lightsaber looks, you know, like the triangles, that I think that Hot Toys could do better is that both they angle out on both sides. Yeah. The the the, the actual the like, color. lightsaber laser. Yeah. Yeah, I think it should come up straight out on one side and then one side out, if that makes sense, instead of both of them coming out from a V. Okay. Yeah. It's just something that, makes that I think would look a little bit better. I would like to see that just in case to differentiate and, and compare them because I feel like this looks good when you see a light motion. It does kind of make that array where it goes yeah. like this. But if you are moving just one way, then I get it. It makes so right. sense. Right, exactly. Centered and then to the right or center. And then to exactly. Right. Let's change it up. Yeah. Do it. Here it is. Uh, a little difficult to pose, but well worth it. That is <laughs> a really good pose. I love it. I had to use the dynamic stand just to give it a little bit of support, but it, it just shows you all the things you can do. Like, look at that back leg. Look at that front leg. You get a nice little spread there. And I'm just going to, you know, play with it a little bit just so we can change the head sculpt and change its its overall theme. Look. More serious, more determined. That might actually look better. Uh, that's the beauty of it. That's the great, the great, great part of this figure. The DX. 16 Darth Maul by Hot Toys. It's that with two two head sculpts, you have two toys. You might you might as well yeah. buy two of these. You might as well buy two of these so you can, you know, have two of them present. I'm just glad that you're gonna give me the other head sculpt that way. Yeah, I'm just glad I have this head sculpt forever, forever, forever <laughs> in my box. <laughs> nice. <and good. laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the Thanks, poses. Guys. Hope you enjoyed the unboxing. We'll see you next time. Okay. Who get this in Out.